This important heart update comes from Missouri Baptist, a five-star rated heart hospital for eight years running. One of the problems we're seeing with increasing frequency is the presence of valvular heart disease. As you age, you develop uh, calcium deposits in many places in your body, but what happens with the valves is that they become narrow and they Im impair the flow of blood from the heart into the rest of the body. Aortic stenosis is a simple mechanical problem where the blood can't get out of the heart and we offer a great operation to fix that, replacing the aortic valve. For the past 30 to 40 years, the, the major way to treat valvular heart disease is to either repair or replace the valve with surgery. Over the past five to 10 years, uh, alternative forms of treatment have been developed. And one of these is where a valve can be uh, replaced uh, using a catheter, which doesn't require an open incision or an open heart operation. If the uh, heart valves have to be replaced, there are options available uh, for valve substitutes. One is a mechanical valve, the black one, which the moving parts are composed of, of, of a strong metal. The biological valve uh, is composed of biological tissue that is sutured onto a frame. Generally, a patient over the age of 65 or 70, we, we recommend a tissue valve so they can avoid Coumadin, a very potent blood thinner. Under the age of 65, we offer a mechanical valve, which will last forever, but which does require anticoagulation. Dr. Kachugas is considered a world's expert in complex aortic surgery and in valvular heart surgery. And for that reason, we see a huge number of valve and aneurysm cases at our hospital. After valvular heart surgery, the patient generally feels able to exercise again, and they can dramatically improve their lifestyle by exercising, losing weight, eating properly, and just getting back into life.